the Clockwork 42 here again today and I'm doing an in-depth video on my HAC Vienna regulator from the 1890s. So it's this clock here and it's not it does not work right now. It's got a porcelain face. Uh, it's really nice. I paid £40 for it from Whitemore's where I got nearly all of these from apart from that. And most of those from as well. But yeah, it's a quite a nice it's really nice i just fit i just fixed this part of the hand back on you might be able to see how the end part is a bit more raised i don't think i could it can see very well but this, the end part's a bit raised because my granddad super glued this end part here back on because it was broken i'll let you hear the striking now it sounds a lot better because it used to have uh this coil in sorry that's my amplifier for my guitars uh, I used to have this coil, and this is the coil for one of my mantle clocks. Oh, I just dropped it. It does not... It, there's, there's no clocks that need a coil right now. So if I come across any that might need a new coil in, I, I collect the coils from all my clocks. Sometimes I bought some, buy some off eBay. And that's what happened when this one was sounding bad. And then I because I put the coil in this one. And now I got a new coil and put it in this one. Sounds a lot nicer. Still sounds nice. So the, yeah, and now I can put the coil back in that one, which I have done. And now it sounds nice again. So yeah, yeah I'll let you hear it now. Yeah. Uh, I've also fixed a problem with the striking. It um, used to strike about for uh three four minutes past around here so yeah i'll fix that that's fine now i know the camera quality is not very good it's not the brightest in my room in england right now because we did have an absolute boiling heat wave and it was like 36 degrees but now it's stopped whoa i just fell off because i need to i'm trying to show you the sides there's a glass there's glass which i'm actually surprised to stick still intact because a clock over a hundred and uh, from the 1890s so a hundred and around a hundred and thirty years old uh, it, the face can come out um i'll show you i'll take the face out uh yeah in the comments do you, could you tell me how to edit my videos please anyone who watches my videos because i don't know how to so I'm just going to have to, I don't think you can see me, but yeah, I am taking the face and movement out because it's a German clock, it, uh, come, the face comes out because it's got the screws on the sides, it slides out, and there we go, and now I've got the face and the mechanism, so quite a very high quality movement. There you go, that's the back, the sides, can't wheel striking, like most German clocks, I'll uh, just off so you can see what it looks like in action. It's quite a mucky movement and I had to put blue tack there because it wouldn't uh, stop like the the uh, time train, uh, the wheel there, It w focus please. If I put it in a focus, the the wheel, the the cog there, it wouldn't keep, it kept spinning, and it was really annoying, and I couldn't stop it. So yeah. Also, the the, the face is coming loose. So yeah, I'm gonna get some lock wire and wire it all back together, so it's not all loose. So I'm gonna put this back in now. It's very hard to do with one hand because the movement is quite heavy and I've got to hold my phone. But I, th oh, finally, I actually just did it. Yes. Now I need to check the striking, make sure it's not bugged up. No, all right, we're fine. Yeah, I'm going to get it a service because uh, there's in a place called Market Bosworth near where I live, there is a clock shop and they repair clocks. So I'm gonna get this one and this one repaired. These two, both HIC. And I've recently also figured out that this has an American movement in it. 
Yeah. It also turns quite fast, but I can't because the hands come loose. Oh wait, yeah, I can. It's also a 30 hour, so yeah, I'm going way, way, way off topic. They put the pendulum back on. It's got quite a nice pendulum. We've got the RNA, which I don't, I'm not, I don't remember too well what it stands for, but yeah. That was the in-depth of my Gustav, oh no, not Gustav, HAC, American, American, clock company. But it's not American, it, it's German. And now it's on a slant. My HAC, I should have got that, porcelain dialed Vienna, Vienna wall clock. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!